I want you to picture your three favorite books. I know it's hard, I'll give you a second. For me, mine are Cinder by Marissa Meyer, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, and Fractured Tide by Leslie Lutz. Now, I don't know what books the rest of you chose, but I do know that the first two books I just mentioned have been challenged or banned. My favorite two books in the whole entire world have been challenged or banned. Something has to change. I bet a lot of you have heard of a banned book before, but what does that really mean? To explore this better, let's look at censorship. By dictionary definition, censorship is the suppression or prohibition of any types of books, news, film, etc. that are considered obscene, politically unacceptable, or a threat to security. I've been a lover of literature since I was a baby. When I first heard about banned books, I was like, it doesn't really matter. But then I started hearing more, and more, and more. And then I got really curious. I read articles, scanned lists, interviewed authors, and then I got furious. It makes me furious that we as a world are prohibiting knowledge. How many of you have ever read the book The Giver before? It is a phenomenal book, but that is not why we are talking about it. If we continue to pull books off the shelves, we are going to end up in a world like that, where we can only see things in shades of white, gray, and black, where every single person is the same. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna live in a world like that. Every year, two to 300 books are challenged, banned, and taken off the shelves. This has increased recently. From September 1st, 2021 to December 1st, 2021, the yearly average of books was pulled off the shelves in just a small quarter of a year. Almost 300 books were pulled from the shelves. Again, I say that something has to change. The Great Gatsby, Catcher in the Rye, To Kill a Mockingbird. These are just three examples of dozens of classic books that have been challenged or banned due to depictions of sex, drugs, alcohol usage, racist comments, or explicit language. Lately, things are being banned for more specific reasons, though. The hate you give. George. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. These books have all been banned for depictions of LGBTQ rights, exploring different cultures and religions, and white privilege. Do we not want the next generation to know about these things? I understand those of you who are saying, well, I don't want my child to read this. It shouldn't be in our libraries or this is inappropriate. I don't want my child to read this. I hear you. But almost 75% of my generation has access to the internet and social media. Are we really worried about books? In the United States, the First Amendment states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of pe the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Think about that for a second. Congress shall make no law prohibiting the freedom of speech or of the press. What are banned books? What are we doing? Again, I hear you say, well, I don't want my child to read this right now. They are too young. Well, what about later in their lifetimes and what about other people? 
Again, I say this has to change. Let's go back to just a few minutes ago when I was telling you about my three favorite books. Let's talk about why Cinder and the Harry Potter series are banned. Cinder by Marissa Meyer is a futuristic retelling of the fairy tale Cinderella, but with a strong female lead. This strong female lead, Cinder, overthrows a corrupt government on the moon. And that is why it is banned. Because this fictional, strong female overthrows a government on the moon. It is seen as politically unacceptable and a threat to security. Now let's talk about the Harry Potter series. I bet most of you have read it, but for those of you who haven't, it is about a teenage boy who finds out that he is a wizard and starts practicing magic. It has been burned and banned in multiple countries because the use of wizardry is considered demonic. Now let's think about your three favorite books. What would you do if all of that joy and all of that knowledge was banned and stripped away and no one else could ever feel those feelings again? So I want you all to look up your three favorite books and see if they've ever been challenged or banned and see if you agree, because I know I don't. I also want to challenge all of you to read a banned book that you haven't read yet. But how can you do that if it's banned? If you type in banned books list into Google, one of the first things that'll come up is a link to the ALA's website or the American Library Association. I want you to go through that list and pick one of those books, read the reasons why it's banned. Again, see if you agree or do a little bit more research. Find another book that you, that's banned that you wanna read and see if you agree the reason why it's banned. Challenge the system. Send a letter to an author whose book has been banned, either sending your condolences or your congratulations for writing something that makes people think and that is so thought provoking. Celebrate Banned Books Week and what makes us different and what challenges us but most of all, use your voice and advocate and tell your friends and family to do the same so that in the future, the next generation will know about these problems, these issues, and we won't all be the same. Use your voice because words matter. Thank you.